still a challenge we have in Kasese is such that like we have for the whole local government. A solution to end the floods in Kasese. In Kasese. So now what we have done, uh, uh, the projects, we are looking for alternatives because the floods, one of the cause is the, uh, the, the, way, the human activities uh, in the region or in the, in the district, like uh, cutting trees, encroaching on the water catchments. The, the government of Uganda uh, looked, uh, looked around and uh, got some sources, uh, some money to help these people how to restore the, the water catchment. From the Nyamwamba River and the floods have destroyed a lot of infrastructure in the community. Especially bridges have been washed away, houses, people have died because of the Nyamwamba floods. And this river has been a stubborn river in the sense that every now and then it floods and causes um, havoc in the communities. We also had to design a nature-based interventions that, that first of all are able to restore the degraded banks through tree planting around the banks, uh, including planting of bamboo, to make sure that we are able to restrain excessive water once there is flooding, that the water is not able to spill over in the communities and uh, affect lives, but also affect crops and homes. It is our humble prayer that since you come and you witness that the situation is still bad, we request that the process be expedited so that the piece of land which they claim they acquire is given to these people and they are settled once and for all. And in the sense we have had a number of people being displaced, not only by Iwa Nyamaba, but even the Iwa Isabel and the Iwa Ubu. And some of them are just being housed by their relatives, but they still have, they have nowhere to reside as, as, as household. To our dear president, for having agreed to sign the law with Pakistan, was the 32 billion that has